Hi friends, hola amigos. Thanks for joining our monthly STEM time. We will be using supplies that hopefully most of you would have around the house so you can experiment with me. Let's get started. Okay, in order to do our experiment, you're gonna need a coffee filter, two glasses of water, some scissors, and then I picked these four colors of markers. You can pick whatever colors you want, and then some tape. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna spread out your coffee filter and cut some strips. So they don't have to be very long and they don't have to be very wide because all we're gonna do is we're going to put dots of color on them. Okay, so you're gonna cut out your strips and then I've already cut out four because I've got my four markers. If you have more, you'll cut out more. So here are my four strips. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little dot towards the bottom. I'm just gonna color in a little dot of each color. And then once we're done with that, we're gonna get our tape and we're going to attach them. And what I want you to do is put your marker on top of the um, glass to see, you wanna have your the end of the filter just stick barely into the water. So I think that might be good right there. If not, I can adjust it here in a minute. So I'm gonna tape two of them onto one marker. And then I'm gonna see, I move that one over. I'm gonna see if it's a good, good length. Uh, no, I'm gonna need to do it a little bit more. that I think that's gonna be okay perfect and then we'll do the next two okay and then once you have them both taped on you're gonna stick them in the water and you just want the water to be just touching the very bottom because as we know when um, materials touch water they absorb the water for them well definitely a filter will so we want it to start absorbing the water and then you're just gonna wait and see what happens I will come back once we've let these soak for a little bit and we'll see the results okay so see you in a little bit going to check our results. I'm going to pull these out and can you tell which one was the red and the blue? They have spread out. The colors have spread out but they still look red and blue. I see a little bit of maybe green in that blue and a little bit of pink but the one that really surprised me was this one. This one right here was our brown and it has really changed or separated the colors in it because now I see orange and maybe a little bit of yellow and then the green almost looks yellow now. So this result really was interesting. I wonder what will happen with the markers that you use because I'm using the Crazy Art markers. So 
I wonder what will happen with yours. I hope you had fun experimenting with chromatography. Chromatography is a technique used to separate mixtures. The mixture is passed through another substance, in our case, the filter paper. The different color ink particles travel at different speeds through the filter paper, allowing us to see the various colors that are used to make our marker colors. To explore further, you could try paper instead of a coffee filter and try different color markers too. You might even try different brands of markers, maybe some Sharpies. Please comment below on what happened during your experiment. Thanks for joining us.